Hi guys, so let's take a look at multiplication today. And parents, if you're watching, just a reminder that um, one of the best ways for kids to learn is to take what they already know and construct their own understanding um, to make sense of things. So for example, if we if we know a kid can look at this and go, well, that's, that's well, I could, uh, that's eight dots or um, it's four dots plus four dots. We, we, we wanna try and elicit all the different different ways that kids um, uh, see this uh, and help pull that knowledge out. Um, sets of, uh, groups of, rows of, as we've talked about before. Um, so one way to describe this is um, two plus two plus two plus two, um, which is actually the definition of, one of the definitions of multiplication is repeated addition or four twos, right? And we use, everybody knows the symbol is four times, it looks like that. Um, we could say it's four groups of two. Um, we could say it's four sets of two, four families of two. Um, another way to show multiplication is a dot in the middle, not not down here, mind you, because that's four and two tenths. Um, so we don't want to do that. But um, in the middle um, is one way. Basically, in second and third grade, they're going to be working with this. They'll see this. Here's another way to show multiplication. It's actually introduced in Moby Math. You'll be looking at it at that way. So. When, when the numbers are next to each other in these different ways, that means you're multiplying them together. What do they all mean? Well, they mean uh, four twos added together make, makes eight. Okay? Um, really a good idea to, to, to practice um, counting by twos. Um, it's a good way to multiply um, so that when you get, um, you know, uh, eight, eight times two, then students can, can quickly go, uh, well, shoot, I got uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And they can use their fingers to do that at first, but ultimately we want to memorizing this. So um, there we go.